Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Today I am, well I've got quite a few things that I need to do. I've already collected the eggs. Uh, we now have 34 eggs in our backpack as you can see. And I am taking this trailer up towards where the root crops are stored so that we can gather up some root crops to take up to the beef and the pigs. But before we do that, I'm just going to go and collect a new piece of machinery that I have purchased from the farm shop. And that is a new mower. And it's not, it's just a front mounted one. It's a cheap one. Uh, it's actually a fent, I think it is. Um, a fent mower that will mount on the front of this tractor and then we can have the other mower that pulls along uh, that sticks out to the side of the mower that's mounted on the back and that will increase the amount that we can cut in one pass and then I'll go over it with the rake after that and then we can gather it up with our forage wagon and feed grass to the sheep and to cows um, we've also got our questions for today uh, the question that I asked you all was I will just uh, pause a minute and show you this uh, we had field 15 uh, in the middle near where the thing is flashing uh, we have field 11 down near the bottom those are both barley and then we have field 42 just above 11 I asked you which one you wanted me to cut next and I actually had exactly even responses for field 11 and field 15 uh, so because I've had exactly even responses for 11 and 15 and I can't get around this corner can I not a chance. Not a chance. Right. Uh, we're going to have to swing wide. I'm either going to need a different trailer or we're going to have to take a much wider swing. Fortunately, there's not much traffic on this road. So anyway, because uh, everybody wants different fields, I'm going for field 42 and going to cut canola next or oilseed rape, depending on your country of origin. So that will be my next task. We'll be cutting that one. Uh, but, well, I say next task, that'll be as soon as we've got the money to hire another combine, because our combine has gone off of hire. Um, I need to get grass first. I've got... I want to take these root crops. I also want to take some cereal into the, the beef and the pigs, because I'd like to sort of get those up towards 100%, rather than the quite low numbers that they're on right now. I think that would be quite beneficial to us. It means that we would actually be able to make a little bit of money out of this place. Because at the moment, we are not making any money. Now, uh, I'm going to take the nearest one here. What is this? This is... Oh, this is the sugar beet nearest. And then there's the potatoes further back. So let's fill up with the sugar beet. If it'll let us. Is it going to let us? This trailer will take crops. Cereals, won't it? I think it will. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just had to find the right trigger point. Okay, I'm just going to let this one fill up, and then I'm going to head up to the shop, and I'm going to get our new mower. But um, while I wait, actually, the question for today... I nearly forgot. I'm really sorry. Uh, the question for today... Just uh, drop that one off there. Um, there is a couple of areas of forestry on this map. There are two areas, sections of uh, grown pine trees. So we can do some forestry if we want later on. Um, it won't be for a little while, because I'll want to hire a bit of machinery, and we'll make a decent job of it. Uh, but the question is, do you want me to? Do you want me to do any forestry while I'm playing Melbury Estate? I'm not sure how many episodes we're going to run to. Probably in the region of 50 episodes. Uh, it may be a bit less, it may be more. It depends how we get on and what we get up to, because there are other maps that I would like to play as well. So do you want me to take some time out of actual farming to do some forestry tasks while I'm playing this map? Head down below, let me know your thoughts. Remember, it's your vote, it's your game. Here is our new mower. Now, hopefully, I can pick this. Yes, a fent mower. Hopefully, I can pick this one up on the back so that I can carry it back because I've still got the front weight on. I wanted that for the. just to sort of offset the trailer. There we go. Right, let's just come out of cab a second and take a look at this mower and see what it's like. Have we got any controls for it? So, enable wide spreading. Enable swath deposit. Ooh, a swath deposit. Well, a swath deposit, I quite like and unfold mower that would just be put that one down like that but that would be because this is a front mounted one this will work better as a front mount so we can put this one on the front and then we can have our other one on the side so come out of that help screen a minute and we will take this back to the farm i will take the weight off the front of the tractor and put this mower on the front of the tractor and we'll get our other mower and put it on the back of the tractor and then we will start cutting a swath around our field. 
because we desperately need to get grass. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, because we don't have collision on the hedges, it does mean that you you can go flying. And that mower is a little bit wider than I was expecting. I'd, that was very bad driving on my part. And we caught the edge of the wall right there. That was awful. Right, I'm going to rescue this tractor from the ditch and get back to the yard and try and set up and you know do things a little more sedately, perhaps. There's the mower, nicely hitched up. I just got to get the other one. I'm going to fill up with fuel first. We're only down to half a tank now, so we could do with a bit of that. Just come round and we'll hitch the other mower onto the front of the tractor, and then we should be able to get going with our mowing. And we can't get into field. Uh, which one is it? We can't get into field 41 from the road. You've got to go through field eight. So we'll cut field 8 first, and then we will move on to field 41. So for now, what we're going to be doing is cutting a few rounds on field 41, uh, field 8 rather. Cut a few rounds on that one, and then go and rake it up so that we can take grass down to the sheep and for the cows. And then we will, when we come back and do our either our hay or our silage, depending on what everybody wants, that will be when we actually move into field 41. Now, I've got to get into the field down here. Now, this could be interesting. I may have to come out of cab for this, depending on what the access is like. Uh, the gate is right here. I'm, gonna, I'm giving me a bit of a swing so that I can get around this corner. Ah, good. The gate opens outwards, so just do that and come out. There we go open that one. I'll leave the gate open. I think we can just miss out this little bit in the corner. I don't think that's going to make a huge difference to how we do things. I will just stay out to watch us come in round here and get it set up because I like to see the machinery in action, especially when we got something new like this front mounted mower. So if I just back up slightly, there we go. I'll go like that. Now uh, I want to unfold that one on the back. Oh no, that's on on the front. So we'll put that one there, drop him down, and start him up. There we go. Is there anything else on the heads up display? Enable wide spreading. And may. Well, I'll, actually, we'll test both of those. We'll see what they're like. Uh, in the meantime, I want to just swap over to this one and unfold. And then we will lower it down and start that one up. That one doesn't have a wide swathing or normal swathing option. It's just the one option. So lower that one down, start it up. And now we'll go back to the front one. And the enable swathing is, is the O. So let's just drive along a little bit and see what this does. It swaths it a little bit. It doesn't actually seem to swath it that much. So let's just swap it over a minute and see what that does. Oh yeah, that fills up the entire piece. Can't see very well because of the trees. Or we can leave it like that. I think we'll leave it like that actually. I think it will actually work out a bit better if we have it like that. I don't want to get in too tight to the corners. There's little point in doing that. And this tractor is going to grunt a bit going up the hill by the look of it. We've got trees hanging down here. You don't want, you never want to get too close to the trees. If you get too close to the trees, you can cause a little bit of trouble. Let's just shut that door. I know with these older tractors, you do actually sometimes do your mowing and stuff with the door open. You kind of you wedge it open and uh, lock it in place. And it just helps the throughput of air because obviously you didn't have... Um, air conditioning in these older tractors, so you, you wouldn't have concerned yourself with such things. You would have just had the door and the windows open and let the air all blow through, and then the dust from the machinery at the back hopefully wouldn't reach you. I mean, it did depend a little bit on what you were doing. Sometimes it would reach you. All right, I'm going to carry on, and I'm going to mow, I would say, three, three times around this field would probably be enough to just tide us over for now and then when we come to actually doing the silage or the hay whichever one because we're going to be gathering up a whole load of it we can feed a bit then i am actually thinking i might do 
one of these fields as silage and one of these fields as hay. Uh, that way I would actually have access to both crops as and when I need them, but I'm not quite sure yet. We we'll see. We'll see what everybody wants us to do. Just going to finish this one round here. You'll notice I am actually leaving bits on the corners. Um, the main reason if you turn too sharp, you can sort of mess up the rows and everything. It's especially important if you're picking up directly behind the mower, so it's sort of a habit that I got into when I was actually doing this for real. And you would just leave the corners out, and then right at the end, you would go out to each corner and then back into the centre, picking each bit up. So you would cut the entire field, you don't actually leave any of it behind. And it's, a, it's just a tidier way of doing it if you're just going round and round and then um, probably the rest of it would actually just be land work where you'd move in stripes up and down the field. But anyway, that, that doesn't really matter. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to leave the mowers here in the field. I'm going to put them here in the corner uh, because we're going to be using them again. So I can't see that it's going to hurt to leave them parked in the corner here. And, you know, to be honest, I'm going to be using the other tractor for the... I'm going to be using the doits for doing the rowing up. So we'll just leave, we'll take them out of here and we'll put them in the next field so that they're right out of the way and I can leave them attached to the tractor for a minute and then we can always, oop, a bit of an unusual swing there. Yeah, I can leave them here for now and then they'll be out the way and I'll go and get the other tractor. So I'm just going to switch this one off here and leave it for a second and go and get the other one. There we go, there's the rake. Let's bring him in round here. And we'll come round and we'll go the same way that we went with the mower. Right. I think we'll do most of this one from in cab, so let's unfold him a minute. Now, I think it's only going to be twice around the field to do this, so let's lower it down. I might have to come out of cab just to start with so that we can sort of get an idea of how much it's doing. The grass has actually grown one stage, just that first little bit that we cut. You can see right there, it's actually it's doing all right there. So we're sort of going to cover this part. Let's move out a minute and see how far away we are from the edge. I am gathering it, and now that we're on... Because we did just sort of test the, the wide drop. So this bit here, we can actually come in a little bit more. We're getting the two wider parts. I might be able to do it. I'm, I, I tell you what, I will do it in one pass and then anything that's left we can always get that another time if we need to. Although I still haven't decided how I'm going to cut this field yet. Okay, let's uh, leap out of cab for this. The grass is growing very fast. We've actually had a growth stage right the way across the field now. now we've skipped a little bit on the corners so not too happy about that, but I mean, we could always come back and get it another time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I did say to you before in the last episode when I was doing some grass, and I, I, yeah, I mentioned that I really don't like leaving bits of grass behind. It really does irritate me. It really does bug me. I think we're just going. I'm just going to have to put up with it because we've we've got to get these tasks done, and we are running out of time. It's nearly two o'clock already and as chance would happen, as chance would have it, it's actually nearly two o'clock in real life as well when I'm actually doing the recording, so there you go. I'll just gather up that little bit and then we'll stop. Okay, that's that bit done. Now I've got to go and get the forage wagon, and I'm thinking actually it might be better if I had the forage wagon on the John Deere rather than this tractor because the John Deere would pull it better. It would certainly cope with it better on the two hills. So I'll leave the mowers in the next field so that we've got them there to be used and I will take this one back and then I'll, I'll walk back and I'll get the John Deere and I'll take that one back to the yard and I'll get the forage wagon with that one. I've got the forage wagon, just need to get into the field and get the grass and I'll just check in a second how much grass we've got for each one. I mean, oops, I don't want to do that one. I want to bring up this one. So we got 3,700 litres in the sheep's trough and 
uh, we have nothing for the cattle. Now, if you have a look at it on here, and we just quickly cycle through here, uh, chickens owned, and then we go... Right, so they are on 21%, the sheep are. So the sheep aren't doing too bad, and then obviously the cattle have got absolutely nothing. So the cattle need it as a priority, and... Let's put that one going. There we go. Cattle need it as a priority, but the sheep could do with a little bit. They're on 20%. I'm uh, not sure how fast they're going to consume the stuff. And obviously the sheep want grass all the time, whereas the cows, once we do actually get some hay stored away, we'll be able to start giving them mixed rations instead. Um, I mean, at the moment we've got some silage, but we don't have any hay anywhere. So that might be something that we have to work on sometime soon so that we can give them mixed ration, but then in order to give them mixed ration, we're going to need a feed mixer, and that's another expense, and quite frankly, we don't have any money. I've already taken out loans. I've got... Um, how much debt have we got now? Let's just quickly check that one. 150,000. So we can take out another 50,000 loan if we wanted to, but I'd like to try and avoid that if possible. We are hoping to do some combining very soon i was actually hoping to start that today but we just haven't been able to start that that hasn't been an option because one we haven't had a combine and two we've desperately needed to get this grass in for the cows because they've got nothing to eat at the moment and we're going to need i want to get some more food up to the the beef and the pigs that's probably going to have to be tomorrow's task or our next episode's task because we are actually getting close to running out of time now. I'm just going to pop out of cab so that I can see what I'm doing for this little bit. Because I did miss a huge chunk there. I didn't actually swing wide enough to get it all. I got the top one. We're actually going to get most of it all into one trailer here, aren't we? I think what we'll do is we'll run down to the sheep. We'll give them... Yeah, I'm only going to have a little bit left over. Not sure whether I'll even worry about giving that to them this time. Might come. I'll, I'll run down to the sheep and we'll give them 10,000 if nothing else, and then we'll come back and we'll gather up all the rest to give to the cows. Just back it up here, right into the sheep's trough. Corn is going to let me tip. There we go. Right. Tip into there. We're at 20%, so I didn't want to do more than about 10,000 litres into there. It's not going to take any more than 10,000 anyway. That's going to fill it right up to 100%, that is. Uh, 90... Well, actually, it's going to take more than that. 18,000 for 150 sheep. Right. Okay, that's that one done. Let's go and get the rest of the crop that's up there and take that in for the cows. I'm taking this lot right into the cow's field and we'll tip it into the trough in there. I've actually only got 11,000 now. Um, I suppose I really... I did intend to only put 10,000 in for the sheep. Uh, then we got kind of uh, carried away like I always do and thought, why not? We'll just fill the whole thing right up. But anyway, no harm done. We have got some food here for the cows and we'll get them some more food fairly soon. I'm not going to be doing that in the next episode. I will do it soon, though. Um, in the meantime, I'm... My note cow. In the meantime, yes, I, the, I, the question for today was, do you want me to be doing any forestry while I am playing Melbury Estate? And if you do, say so. If you don't, say so. And why can't I tip into this trough? I could yesterday, couldn't I? Yeah, I did. I tipped into this trough. I tipped straight in there. Or did, oh yeah, there we go. The trigger is a bit far over, I think. I Probably better if I tip it from the other side. Um, so yes, do you want me to do any forestry? Yes or no? Head to the comment section down below and let me know. It is your vote. It is your game. Tomorrow I am going to take root crops up to the beef and the pigs. I am also going to take some uh, cereals up to the beef and the pigs. So we'll have to come down to the bottom and load cereals with the telehandler and the bucket take that up there as well because I'd like them to be a bit more productive. They're not very productive at the moment and I think it would be better for all of us, if they were more productive, we could actually get some money out of them then. And then 
once I've done those two tasks, uh, I think we'll, we will obviously we'll check the water and everything. Um, that one I will just leave running there for a second because I did also see what I think is a water pump over here. We went all the way traipsing up across the fields and everything, and I think we actually have a water pump right here. So we will test this one and see if we can actually fill something up from this one. Um, I'm hoping that we can because that will just make life a little bit easier than having to go up into that field. Uh, so if the beef and the pigs need topping up with water, we'll top them up as well. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.